So, ladies, just to finish up on that before John finishes off with his last little details was, yeah, great run through. You know, we need to keep the standards up high, keep our skill levels high and finish these things off. We need to take that pace, that everything into Saturday and we need to put on the show on for the wreck. Okay, people are coming to watch us and we need to show why we are who we are. Okay. Massive opportunity to um, we finish our league season at the wreck. It couldn't really be any better, could it? Um, and that team run going into that was outstanding. Trust the structures and trust yourselves that we could, we're all able to run at pace and execute these, these passing moves that we're doing at high intensity because we did that tonight and we'll do it again on Saturday. Enough said, enough said, I think. Yeah. Well, I join you. Green! Obviously, we're not a professional team yet, um, and we had that opportunity to play at you know professional sports ground and somewhere like the Rec, which is the history and you know the heritage that it is is for the for the city as well. So it was just so exciting. Though when we were running out with the pyros going off, that was just unbelievable. The excitement we found, we didn't actually realise that was going to happen as we were running out. Um, I mean, my teammates just looked at each other, and when we got in that huddle. And we thought, oh my God, this is it. Like everyone's going to be watching. Um, and this is like history being made. It was, it was so special. And this past year has just been huge for the, the growth of the women in, and girls game. Obviously with the commitment bath rugby we've made to grow the sport and the visibility it's now creating. And even now I can see the effects of that in schools. Girls and boys asking me, do you play? Could we watch you play on the TV? And you say, well, yeah, we do have streaming services available. And, you could come and watch us at the wreck and that just saying that in itself is you can see them light up as well in their faces and think oh that's something that I could do and I don't think that's ever happened for the girls in the area before so now they've got that tangible um, opportunity to do that they can actually you know can see the pathway and the development for themselves I think that's just amazing. You know I remember sort of 10 years ago um, the women's game you know hardly anyone knew about it and now if you're on social media um, you know, it's, you see it's everywhere. You see there's a real push for, for women's sports in general. Um, and especially over the last decade, I'd say it's, it's been pushed massively. And then I guess for this, this weekend, for there to be a double header uh, at the rec, um, you know, for the Bath women um, to come along and play, it's, it's only going to help the game grow and, and get more girls involved from a young age. It'll be a great day for, for all of them, I'm sure. Um, you know, they'll be, I imagine they'll be extra nervous, um, but Ultimately, it's, it's such an exciting opportunity um, to be out there with however many there will be that, that stick around and, and watch and support. Um, it'll be a great day and you know, hopefully they, they win and they inspire the sort of next generations coming through. For us, it's kind of focusing on what we have been working on the whole season and considering this is our last game, it will be putting that all together and really polishing it off and making, yes, yeah, as I said, showcasing what we can do when we are on top of our game. Um, and yeah, we're excited to kind of show what we're made of and, and build for the future as well based on what happens. But yeah, I think finishing at the REC for this season would be absolutely perfect for us. Before our game at the REC, the first time we had a little girl watching us and we had pictures with her um, at, at the end and she wanted us to sign her rugby ball and to be that role model for her to be surrounded by women who play rugby when she's the only little girl who plays in her boys' rugby team. She's got that role model now to, to like, kind of um, model herself on uh, in the future and she can see that that's an opportunity that she's going to have as well growing up. I think a young little Bath girl seeing a Bath woman playing well at the rec, it's, you know, it's, it's right there isn't it, that's, that's a role model right there. I think if you know, you're a young girl you want to inspire to be, to go into some, some which, whichever sport you want to get into, there, there should be the right pathway for that and I think that's what you know, this country is definitely getting much better at. Um, whether it's netball, whether it's rugby, whether it's hockey, um, just make sure those pathways are, are correct and easily accessed so that they can develop and can push on and can, can get better. Bath ladies, they've got three teams and it, you can join as a complete beginner, but there's also somewhere that you can go if you are really keen to develop yourself as a, as a player and it's, it's got that kind of three team system to allow you to really progress if that is something that you're interested in doing and I think that's just so important to have that, that, those opportunities for brand new players all the way through to kind of senior women who've been playing for a few years.